overwhelming number of people have commented that we have to change our health care system. There is a tremendous amount of concern and anxiety about uh, proposed changes. The debate over health care insurance reform continues in northeast Wisconsin today as two area congressmen hosted listening sessions. Today's meetings, however, were more subdued than the often shouting matches of the last couple of days. Fox 11's Lou Hillman begins our balanced coverage this evening. Thanks. After two heated and highly publicized listening sessions with Democratic Congressman Steve Kagan, Wednesday it was Republican Congressman Tom Petri's turn to meet with constituents about proposed health care reform circulating through Congress. This time there was little shouting, but still a lot of debate. Most who showed up urged Representative Petri not to support legislation that would offer a government-backed insurance option. Ron Blickhan cited a recent Rasmussen poll that says about 80% of voters are happy with their current health care plan. I'm one of the 80%. I'm satisfied with what we have. I don't have a problem with health care reform as long as it's responsible. Some believe no matter what, increased government involvement will not work. They point to problems with other programs like Social Security and Medicare. Congress has bankrupted those two programs. So are they going to do the same thing with this nationalized health care? While most of those who showed up to weigh in on health care reform already have their minds made up on the issue. Congressman Petri, on the other hand, says he's still trying to figure out what the best solution is. The current federal programs that they're modeling this expansion after mainly uh, Medicare yep. have a lot of problems themselves, so it's not necessarily a, a solid foundation upon which to build. Despite Petri's doubts about the proposed plan, Helen Patton Gray showed up hoping to convince him that it's a step in the right direction. I definitely think we should have that because there's too many people running around with no insurance and then they go to the emergency room. And who pays for that? The taxpayers? <laughs> One thing is clear, people are turning out all across the country for these listening sessions. What kind of impact it will have on the legislation, however, still remains to be seen. In the town of Buchanan, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. Now there are more listening sessions to be hosted by Petri. Tomorrow's is in Amro, 9.30 in the morning, and uh, then there are more on Friday and on Monday, as you can see on the screen as well. Now, more specifics on the events hosted by Petri are on our website, fox11online.com. Also, the schedule of listening sessions for Democratic Representative Steve Kagan as well. Look for the link in the news link section on our homepage.